Lots. It's morning. It's morning. Let me check my BYD toy. Good day, good people. My name is David. This is Sharon Lucas. Today yes. we're coming to you about money because money matters. Right. <clears throat> Sharon and I have these video series and they're called, you know, uh, Love, Sex, and Marriage. Our t shirts, that's evidence to see here. And Sharon also has her t shirt, which she won't show all her goodies, but she will let you let see the words. Let me stand up. Let me stand Right. Okay. So we only had the money to buy two, so. No, no. no. <laughs> we're. <laughs> So that's what He's we got. He's a jokester. Because money matters. I'm not going to buy a hundred and... So we're still um, messing around with designs and different for that. things like that. So we're not going to... She lying. We don't have the money for that. We do. But we're not going to purchase or invest until... We, we don't got the, the money for till that. Until we have the exact This is design. the problem with people in marriage. Money matters. You need to get your money right. See, right? that's what we talk about. Mindset. When you say... I don't got, which is incorrect Which English. is the truth. But <laughs> when you say those things, you've already created in your mind so of saying, how can I get right. it? Maybe. You're right there. So that's not the issue. The issue is we haven't found the design that we like yet. When we find that design, then we'll say, how can I get it? See, it's the mindset. Well, yes. I had to learn. This year is my year of talking more positive. <laughs> because I used to say at my job, for instance, I used to say, I don't belong here. And the reason I said that, it wasn't because I didn't feel like I belonged here. It's because I have, I have overcome so many obstacles that it was like making it, it was making me feel like, man, like I legitimately like, or it was, I felt like it was lucky that I'm here. I almost feel like I didn't belong. So I used to say to myself, I don't belong here, but right. it came to pass that a few things ended up happening to me that solidified my position. And so now instead of me saying, you are know, feeling lucky or like I don't belong here, now I say, I belong here. Like I'm supposed to be here. Right. So they both mean sort of the same things. Like I'm both, both of them are saying I'm lucky to be here, but one is saying it positively. So now my brain, when I'm on, the, when I'm on a, you know, a conference call or when I'm talking to a customer, I act like I have a purpose to be here now. Correct. And so my brain is made away from me. So you're right. I apologize. No, you're It's fine. not that we don't Starting have the money experience. for the t-shirts. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's not like we don't have the money because people do what they want to do. And I, that's a famous saying. You know how they get that Egg McMuffin sandwich. People do what they every want Every day and at Starbucks every day, right? So we wanted <laughs> to get the shirts made. Right. We could probably get a thousand made. You know what I mean? If we wanted to. But the priorities... And that's what it is about your money. A lot of people have their priority shifted. They were, right. you know, their priority is Starbucks in the morning. So they go get some Starbucks. And after they come from Starbucks, they go to get, you know, they get tired of their job that they hate working at, that they hate going to, that they're there. But the, I used the to be job, a victim of this. <laughs> but the <laughs> job is fueling a life that right. they also hate. So you get caught in this cycle of I hate this, I hate that. So you what do you do? You start hating your life. All you start together. eating your way out of it. That's how I got up to 300 pounds. Right. Because I hated my life. Like, I hated the way it was going. It wasn't like I hated my... The people my, I didn't there. hate my existence. I just hated right. my current circumstance. I, right. I didn't want to, like, you know, kill myself. I still loved me. <laughs> you know? But or I... Or anyone around you. I just didn't like my that. current <laughs> circumstance. Right. And so, in order to change it, I had to start thinking differently my right. relationship with money had to switch up like, right because our relationship we had a me and money had a situation ship like it really we, mm -hmm. it wasn't a relationship it was a situation ship right but when i got married to you and got into a physical relationship i see then it helped me with my my money relationship because now i got to take care of you and i got to take care of kids and i'm by right. no means rich or a millionaire but i do have enough money to to for so you not, for you not to work right you know what i mean so I, I understand money, which is why we don't come on here telling you stuff that we don't have an experience. We know what it is to be broke. Like, I'm talking about... Broke. We've hit rock bottom. You know, people use that, right. like, cliche. No, like, we really hit rock bottom. Like, right. you know, where we got to live at. <laughs> we lost our house, rock right. bottom, you know. Rock bottom. So, and that's how we learn to really get our finances together. Learn about finances. You have to invest in educating yourself mm -hmm. when it comes to finances i think and this is a lot of this is how society has set us up 
especially in the school system, they teach you a lot of stuff you don't need just to know. Stuff. I'm just keeping it real. Like some things you don't need to know. You need to know your your basic math skills and how to read and how to read. Right. And and how to speak because you you have to be able to communicate. Depending with on your people. occupation. Most. Most of the time, you have to communicate, even right. if it's in a writing. If you don't use verbally, you have to know how to write. Right. So I thought that that come in handy. Right. And I think that's about it. So basically, <laughs> you pretty much learn everything that you're supposed to know by the time you're in the third grade. After that, it's basically but about they don't making teach you, friends. They don't teach you life skills. They don't. And that's what I found out when I graduated high school. I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go to college. Who knew about stocks? I'm about to get this money. As soon as I go to college, I'm going to Who knew about paid. a mortgage? Everybody's supposed to know about a right. you know, basic rent. They don't right. teach that stuff. They feel like, oh, you'll learn when you get older. I, I just, they don't care because the majority or, you know, people who are successful, that are wealthy, right. they teach their kids that. Right. It's passed down for generations. So they don't rely on school to do that. Right. So people who rely on school to do that, they get, you know what I mean, screwed, basically. Like, because that's not what school does. School just, they teach you how to be an American, how to love America, basically. Mm, that's very good. Indoctrinate mm-hmm. you with that. And look, there's nothing wrong with loving America, because I, first of all, believe, because I'm in America, especially at the time that I'm in America, right. I'm actually kind of lucky. Because I right. didn't We're come blessed. here in 1895, where right. I would be, be you know, in chains. And uh, well, slavery ended before eighteen like seventy six. I think it right. ended before that. Eighteen sixty five slavery ended. So I wasn't born pre eighteen sixty five, and I also wasn't born in Jim Crow. So the right. time that I'm in, it, I'm saying yes to, because now I can create my own business. I, there's no excuses. If I get my right. credit right, I can go to a bank and get a mortgage. Uh, correct. Even if I get a, even if I have my own job, if I'm, if I wake up every day and I go cut some grass for two years. And I can show the bank that I have two years worth of income and have a decent credit score. Well, all you have to do is go get a credit card. You can even, if you don't have a, the credit score for a credit card, you can, you know, go get a, like the, one of them credit cards where you put money down on it. Right. And put money down on it and then let your credit build over Until time. You get to that point. And they got Credit Karma. You don't even have to check your credit number. They ain't got an app. Credit Karma is the number one app on iTunes. The right. number one app. It helps you see your credit score. Those types of small details... In the time that we live in are huge and another thing you can do is if you know someone that is close to you because not everybody's going to do this for you right but if they have good credit let's say it's your mother or one right. of your parents and you can ask them to put me on as a authorized um, user yes but i'm you don't have access to a you card. don't get a credit card you don't get access to the account but, basically, but you get access to the credit history right so when they pay their credit card bill boom that also goes to you as right. credit right um, and so that helps boost up your credit. It so does. it has to be someone close to you. And Everybody's that's immediate. Not let you, do that. you can get 50, right. 60, 70 points. Right. By just being an authorized user on somebody's car. Right. And you be like, I don't want a car. Don't send me a car. I right. don't want to have access just to it. Just let me be an authorized user. I just want to build up my credit. Right. So when you pay your bill, it builds up my credit. Right. Also, my dad did something really amazing. Um, when I was in high school, he, I wanted a car, basically. And he was like, I don't want a co-star for you. Because mm-hmm. if you don't pay your car note, mm-hmm. actually, I, I'm sorry, excuse me, I, I just graduated from high school. So he's like, if you don't pay your car note, right. then, me. right. And I was like, no, look, I got this, Dad. Like, I understand. And he was like, you don't understand. I'm like, no, I really understand. Like, you know, I didn't have the best financial education, but I understood about credit when right. I graduated. It's going to follow me. And so, anyways, it took him a while. To make a long story short, he finally decided to, you know, co-sign for me. And I paid off my car. Yeah. Um, and when I paid off my car, he was like, he called me, he was like, Oh my gosh. He was like, you are so amazing. He was like, you paid off your car in like, I think I did like four years or something like that. And he was like, Which um. It's a horrible deal. It was a brand new car. It's a horrible deal. It was a brand. Anyways, we're not going to get into that. That's another discussion. Right. Um, yes, it was. Come on, finances. Yeah, it was a horrible deal. Horrible. But at that time, I was like 17. <clears throat> we want to give them good sound financial advice. So Right, at that time, <laughs> I was 17. So right. for me and where I was at, I felt like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now the older me. So what Sharon's really saying that. is, you know, because we don't recommend you co-sign it for anybody. So don't get that from her story. What, what she's really saying I is, didn't get to finish my story here's another story. way that you can <laughs> help somebody can help you build your credit up. But we don't recommend you co-sign it for nobody. No. 
And I'm glad people told me no. Right. Because if they, if they would have told me yes, then at the mindset that I was in, I would have messed them up. But I have messed some people up, but I just apologize. You know what I mean? So that's but, what yeah, my dad, something. that was his first feelings towards co-signing. Right. And he was saying no, 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 because he felt like I was going to mess up his. Right. Um, credit score but at the end of the day I didn't mess up his credit score I never missed a payment and I paid off my car so when I paid off my car it boosted his credit up that's how he knew he was like oh my gosh you boosted up my credit thank you so much right. and he was, and he had to apologize because he was like you never missed a payment and you end up helping me right. so I don't I don't like to use like never I meant you want to be careful. Let's use that word. You want to be careful right. who well, you, you call sign your for. Credit to, I guess. Yes. yes, because in that instance, I actually helped my dad. Right. <laughs> I boost up his credit. Right. So you just want to be careful. And I would do. I wouldn't co-sign for something that I couldn't pay for myself. Right. So if for some reason I didn't pay my car payment, the question would have been, did my dad have the money to pay for my car? And we both know he did. So, so let's say this. In that case, I right. probably wouldn't co-sign unless I, I will, I'm able to take over the payments or pay it off. So it wouldn't affect my credit. If you're able to do that and you trust in the person, yes, it's okay to co-sign. I just don't like to use those nevers because it depends on the situation right. and what kind it of situation It is situational. But what I would say is there's a difference between being an authorized user, letting somebody become an authorized user on your credit card. That way they don't have access to the car. They won't have access to, you know, spending and running up the limit. So we don't recommend, you know, you giving any access to people uh, right. uh, to your credit. I agree. And like Sharon said, it is situational, but I don't recommend that. You don't have to I have a credit card. That. Unless it's your spouse. Like, I had pretty decent credit right. and we try to build up my husband's. Right. So in that case, I put him on my credit card right. and it boosts him up and obviously he right. got I a had car. horrible credit. Right. I did. But the great thing about it is credit can always be rebuilt. Always. Right. You can always rebuild your credit That's no true. matter and what. And it doesn't take that long if right. you pick the right things. Like um, when we bought a house, that boosts up the credit. Right. As long as you make your payments on time, which you... The car. I shouldn't say... Typically, people make credit their payments so time with their house because you live in there. <laughs> See, now I got a good enough credit and I've been working long enough where I can get anything that I want now. Right, right. You know what I mean? So now I'm more selective because I feel like I don't want to do to myself what I did in times past. And then as I grew up, too, I understood the ramifications of having a bad credit score. When you walk into a car place and they tell you that you are broke and please leave now. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Or you don't want to be that person. Now, the reason I called her car deal a bad deal was because, you know, she, first of all, was paying an interest rate. I always feel like if you, to get a car, you want to get something that's going to get you to A to B to Z. You right. don't have to get the newest and the latest. Right. And if you lose your current income, you want to be able to say, you know, this is my vehicle. So right. I always say, save you up $2,000, $3,000, and go get you a $3,000 car. Like, you can easily, like, with a $3,000 car, if you go somewhere with cash, you can easily make a deal on a $4,000 car for $3,000 cash. And instead of having to pay somebody 6%, 8%, not, some people pay 9%, 10%, right. 16%. Right. Oh, God bless me with a car. My payment only 200 a week. What are you talking about? With a good credit score, you can get a Benz for $300 a month. Now, if you can do that, that's good. And, it, and then that's good. Also, you need to take someone with you, like a mechanic. Because that's another thing. Like, right. I, my my um, first car before I got that that I had in high school was a used car and I paid cash for it. Right. The brakes was stopping on me right. and cutting off on me. Thank God for my car was just starting up. Yes, my uncle is a um, engineer. I've been to my boo. Why you he's he's like a mechanical engineer, so he would fix my car for me. So I had someone, but if you don't have someone to do that, that's not going to charge you a lot or that's going to you know pretty much do it for free, like family, somebody who love you, like my uncle. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Then it's hard because now you're gonna have to put invest more money into it. Right. And so that's that was my mindset when I bought my new car after that. Right. Because I felt like I didn't want a car to keep breaking down on me. Also, I you know what I mean, it's hard, you know what I mean, to pick the correct car unless you know what you're doing. If right. you're one of the people that I could fix my own car or I know what I'm doing, that works for you. Or if you just happen to pick a good car, like so an older lady had a car and it's a good, good, good condition. Who don't good ride condition. it like right. Sharon's an old lady. <laughs> purpose of these videos will always be to help people get married and to stay married. Sharon and I have recently been booked on a cruise, all expenses paid. Not only that, but they're actually paying for us to speak, which we accept. We accept the responsibility right. of 
the people who are going to be susceptible to, to us letting them see our point of view of the world. Right. And because we accept that responsibility, we, we don't take it lightly, but we are excited. Yes. Our mind is blown. This is going to be nuts. Right. So for that reason, we're starting to take the brand a little more serious. We have gotten these shirts. It's called, you know, mine says marriage is sexy, uh, love, sex, and marriage in here, baby. You know? And what does yours say, baby? Mine just says love, sex, and marriage, and marriage is sexy. Right. I said it backwards. Okay. And so, m because money matters, we, you know, we are on I'm trying to get this to the next level. I'm still working a corporate job, and I, I, I legitimately love my job. I would, right. I would never leave unless they force me to, because my job is is a good job. The benefits. I'm talking about all the benefits, not just health insurance. Right. But all the perks and all the benefits are like, you know, one of the best things. Well, this is one of the best jobs I've ever had. Legit. And so because it's one of the best shops I've ever had, I, I would never leave unless I right. say they forced me to leave. This one's crazy. She She's is. Crazy. Oh, she does not have any patience. I would like, I've never seen a baby like her. <laughs> no, it ain't me. She's her daddy's child. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me, I hear her baby. Here, baby. There you go. She feel like now, there I don't understand what's wrong with this internet. Why is it moving so slowly? <laughs> Mommy only paid thirty nine ninety nine, babe. She didn't. She because money matters. We right. Didn't, we didn't opt for the fifty nine ninety nine, baby. So you got to deal with what you got to do. Right. You gonna have to wait. Next is it. Go eat a fruit snack, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be on yeah, in a second. You, you got what you can do. But <laughs> we're taking this way more seriously. So we got T-shirts now. They're not for sale. We just got them because we want our right. brand to be more discoverable. Uh, we probably, I know. We will uh, eventually put them up yeah. for sale. So be looking out for that. Yeah, that'll come later on the down the line. But we are being, <laughs> we are booked for a cruise. And special guest, special guest. Look at my view. Give me a kiss. Somebody put this yeah. internet on. Hey, Bill. Hi. <laughs> Say money matters all the time. Hi. So I just woke up. <laughs> yes. Fair so because we have took it upon ourselves to get a financial education, oh, our children will have a financial education. My yes. my daughter who is twelve now, and my son will all say, "Huh? Hey. We'll all have a financial education. We know how to. If your credit gets down to the down to the bone to the bone to the bone, right. we can help you rebuild it. Now we are not a company. We are we just we're giving away." Stuff that we know because we've repaired Stuff that helped us. our credit. Mm -hmm. We know how to save money. We know how to ramen noodle. We know how to... If Beans we, and rice it. We don't have cable in this house. <laughs> nope. We have an Apple TV and we have applications. You don't need cable no more. There is something called YouTube. I would never buy cable. I think that's common among millennials. Right. So we're not going to pay an extra bill. For what? Right. <laughs> I watch sports on apps. Their apps are free. Right. Why would I pay for... For K, why would I do that? <laughs> anyway, so especially if you broke, if you broke and you got cable, you need to reprioritize your relationship with money. You got a situation ship. You don't have a relationship. Right. So I would say get that together. And what does being broke mean? Broke means I have to wait till I get paid to pay a bill. Right. You are broke if that's happening to you. Living so, paycheck to paycheck. You know what I mean? So robbing gotta, Peter to pay Paul. Right. And you know, <laughs> you keep robbing these people, they gonna call the cops. <laughs> You hear what I'm talking about? Right. Bye bye, baby. So, I mean, you know, if you're in that situation, bye -bye. do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Because we've been there. Right. Sometimes right. you gotta do what you gotta do because maybe you got into a situation when your spouses got sick or you right. got sick or, right. you know, um, someone Everything lost their has job. Like Stuff that. happens. Yeah. But the next time, be prepared for that because it's gonna come around again. Everyone experienced storms. Right. Everybody. I don't care if you got money. But you don't have money. Gotta get the money. umbrella for next time because it's coming. So prepare. Learn from it and prepare. And um, you know, have a um, have a um emergency fund. Right. For those things. Now we're not talking. We're talking about storms. Right. Not a holocaust, a nuclear holocaust. If that's happening to you, you need to get some help. Right. And so me and Sharon might not be strong enough to help you in that area. <laughs> if you need a bomb shelter for your finances. Because some people just, there are situations that are serious, more serious than, you know, me and Sharon come on. We, we really right. come on to entertain you, to give you a little breather in your day, you know what I mean? And, um, and it kind of challenge your current thought process. Hopefully sometimes, you know, we won't make you mad because the truth will set you free. Before, uh, yeah. Before, or it won't set you free, but it sets you free after it puts you off. Right. So we're going to end this video. Money matters. Hopefully you take some of what we said and, you know, um, apply it. Right. Uh, we do got t-shirts. They are not for sale yet, but I'm pretty sure after we come up with another design or something like that, 
Y'all like said you want a t-shirt. I'm going to send you a free t-shirt. Kathy Gonzalez, we're sending you one. Yes. I want to tag you because you, you share our videos every day. She's a huge free support. And then uh, if, you, if you guys want a, a t-shirt, let us know. And then we'll figure out a way to get you one. But Kathy, we love you. You're beautiful. You got a very beautiful spirit and we love you. Yes. So I don't want to end you. it like that. So if Sharon and I get big by default, marriage gets big. And that's right. the whole purpose. So right. until next time, we do love you. Bye-bye.